Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will make a simple demonstration of the inductor. Inductors are devices that are widely used in electronic circuits. However, for the beginner, it is harder to understand how an inductor works than, for example, how a resistor works. The task of a resistor is very simple. It opposes the flow of current. When we put a resistor in a circuit, the current finds harder to flow than without the resistor. That is, the current is lower when we put a resistor. The inductor, on the other hand, also opposes the current, but opposes the change in current. When the current is flowing steady, the inductor is like it is not there. But when the current changes magnitude or direction, the inductor opposes that change. An inductor is nothing more than some wire wound around a core. The core can be any material, iron, ferrite, air or even vacuum. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. When you have the current flowing through the inductor, a magnetic field is established around the inductor. If the current is constant, the magnetic field is also constant, it does not move. However, when the current changes, for example, if we have a larger magnetic, uh, a larger current, then the magnetic field will also grow and then it will move so the varying magnetic field will cut the wires of the inductor and will induce a current in the inductor. Because of length law, this current will be in the other way than the current that is flowing in the inductor. If the current is going from left to right, the induced current will go from right to left. That is the reason that the inductor opposes the change in the flow of current. In the other case, if the original current tries to go to a lower value, the magnetic field will be smaller, it will also induce a current also in the contrary sense of the original current and will oppose that change. Therefore, what the inductor wants is to maintain a steady current flowing through the inductor. I will use this circuit to demonstrate what I said before. Here we have an LED and we apply a DC voltage to turn on the LED and in parallel we have an inductor. This inductor has a very low resistance. Therefore, what is going to happen? The current will start to flow through the circuit. But here we have very low resistance. This is almost a short circuit. Therefore, the current prefers to go in this path and the LED will not turn on or the current is flowing through the inductor. However, when we make this circuit and at the moment that we apply the voltage, will we, uh, we will observe that the LED turns on for a fraction of a second and then will go off. Why this happens? Okay, the moment we apply the voltage, 
the current will start to flow and the magnetic field around the inductor will start to grow. It will be varying, is growing and therefore will induce a current in the inductor that will oppose the flow of the original current. Therefore, in this situation, the inductor behaves as a large resistance. It does not want the current to flow. So the current goes in this other path and the LED turns on. However, eventually the current establishes and the magnetic field is now constant. It is not inducing a current, therefore we now have a very low resistance path and the current, almost all the current goes in this circuit and the LED turns off. Let's see this in action. Here I have the inductor, in parallel the LED and I have a switch to turn on and off the voltage from the power supply. I am using 3.5 volts which is the voltage that the LED needs to work. So let's see, I'm going to activate the switch and you can see how the LED shines for just an instant. Only the moment when we push the button, the LED turns on a moment and then goes off. But the current is flowing, as you can see, 2 amps, but these 2 amps are flowing through the inductor and not through the LED. Okay, so there you have it, a very simple way to demonstrate the properties of an inductor. I hope you liked this video, thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.